Hello guys, I hope everyone in the Twin Flame room is having a blessed, pros prosperous day on today. Father God, I just ask you to come in in the mighty name of Jesus and cover this reading in the mighty name of Jesus. I pulled these cards. I had some more out, but you know, the Holy Spirit that I pulled last night and I was going to do that reading this morning or uh, whatever, but the Holy Spirit told me to get another batch of cards. So I shuffled a while ago, just a while ago, and I, I'm doing this reading now. I just want to come before you, God, in fear and trembling, asking for forgiveness of our sins, Lord God. Anything that's unlike you, Lord God, remove it in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to just um, call off into the uh, twin flame room, uh, our Father in heaven, his Son, and the anointing of the Holy Ghost to take over this whole entire room in the mighty name of Jesus and start turning people toward God. In the name of Jesus, start turning counterparts towards God in the mighty name of Jesus and um, so that they can receive um, deliverance, healing, and uh, more abundantly uh, life through Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, I just want to come and Father God blesses everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy and it shall be well with you. Psalms 128, 1 through 2. Father God, I just ask you to cover this reading in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyways, guys, I ask God what was divine, what was in divine masculine's heart space. And overall energy, bottom of the deck, the will of fortune, a change is in his heart space. Some of these divine masculines are willing and ready to change. They see, you know, the divine film came out of nowhere and brought in this great big burst of energy, love and light and emotional and spiritual, spiritually and physically and mentally and poured it all onto all the divine masculines. And it just gave them a change of heart. And what they're feeling right now is, you know, they ran from the connection from for a really long time. And, you know, now they're willing to surrender to God and to this connection. They're like, ooh, we, I ain't never felt that. I want to feel that again in the mighty name of Jesus because some of the divine films have pulled their energy away from the divine masculines due to how he wasn't used to you know, feeling that energy and he was still trying to belittle her and make her feel some type of way, you know, and, you know, he was, you know, rejecting what, you know, he was feeling in the mighty name of Jesus. So then we went on, Lord God, and God gave us the queen of swords. And so when he did that and he started rejecting her after so long, she kept pouring into him and pouring into him. The divine films, they kept pouring into him and pouring into him and, you know, trying to make him feel you know, uh, loved and feel, you know, uh, that he belongs, give him a sense of belonging in the mighty name of Jesus, trying to get him to feel that, you know, we're all a part of God, you know, and we're not supposed to feel no less worthy than, you know, anyone else, you know, than God want us to feel for ourselves, you know, just cause people deny us and reject us and belittle us and, want to make us feel some certain type of way that doesn't give up, you know, make us want to treat ourselves like that. We have to love God and love ourselves. And that's all divine femme was wanting divine masculine to realize. A lot of us, we were mirroring each other when we did meet them or whatever. But some of us divine femmes, you know, we were uh, cast down and cast it out and were rejected and were denied or whatever. And it started making us mirror the divine masculines and feel less worthy of ourselves ourselves or whatever like you know it took a little bit of our confidence and it make made us feel 
uncertain and so now divine film she's in the queen of swords she's cutting down everything that come to try to reject her make her feel any less worthy than what god have told her anything that no longer served her anyone that's speaking negative towards her she's cutting it down and she's casting it down and casting it and cutting it down casting it down to the pits in the mighty name of jesus and she's moving forward queen of swords and then she moves on and a tower moment is happening uh, whatever this tower moment and you know is due to all the things you know and even things that have happened you know dear before she even got to this uh journey or whatever you know god gave her a great a great big burst of awakening and you know she had things that had her feeling lowly you know before this situation before her third eye opening before she started feeling you know like uh, uh i'm sick of this i'm sick of people trying to make me feel that i'm any less worthy than the next person i don't care if she got a ph been to school for 10 15 years she's no better than i am you know i've had obstacles that knocked me that knocked me down that kept me down longer than what she was maybe she came from a home that was abundant or you know that came with wealth and came with love from her parents and you know uh, she didn't have you know uh any childhood childhood wounds the way i have them or whatever and so maybe it took me a time to get to where you know uh uh, uh you know i needed to be in god to help me realize that i'm no less worthy than what another person is and so then we move on to the judgment our judgment call is due to divine film not you know uh, the judgment call what god told me was had made divine film guarded this is what this judgment call was it made her feel guarded seven of uh wands or whatever where she's feeling guarded and protected against anyone she's not letting them in because when she tried to you know they denied her and they mistreated her and so then we went on to the next part of this thing and it's five of cups or whatever whomever has treated divine film any less worthy than what she's been feeling in her past you know uh it's it got you know they're looking at her now and they're all saying you know why did we do that you know what i'm saying like why did we turn our back on her why did we treat her like that god don't want us doing people like that and you know any of them divine masculine and all the karmics anything that's due to this whole twin flame or even before the twin flame people are feeling regretful and uh they're feeling it now and god is allowing them to feel it because they treated her some her some type of way to make her feel less worthy and those people are in the hangman or whatever you know they're thinking about what their actions and what they did to people before in the past and so then we move on to eight of ones and uh the divine masculine he's wanting to communicate and let her know you know like i'm over that you know uh uh could you take off the blinders or acting as if you blind to the fact that i'm trying to relay a message to you that that i want to come together with you please take off those blinders please take off that uh a blindfold and, and and let me in again because i love the way that felt that energy that you brought in to my team i i want to feel that again we all want to feel it because it was so much love we can't deny it and so then move on to the page of pentacles and um uh it's uh energy he sees her as a playful energy uh, uh, a studious academic childlike energy studying and learning you know she's willing to study and learn a solid young person methodical in in their approach a hard work and well behaved a polite uh queen she's a polite empress that's how divine masculine is seeing her polite energetic uh self-discipline um you know um uh, you should receive he wants to re re give her some good news about financial or academic uh you know connecting with her and bringing in some financial abundance he wants to work with her now and so the chair is uh
the chair is Devon Film. She's sitting on the throne, uh, you know, and got and lifted up high in her purple robe, uh, not letting anyone uh, uh, come against her with words, actions, or she's sitting up high looking at things right now. Um, you know, they can't uh, make her feel any less worthy than what you know God have told her. Uh, she may, you know, divine masculine, he wants to come in and he also wants to travel or he wants her to travel towards him. You know, he wants to give a, you know, he wants to communicate this. So could be a vacation he wants to take with her. And then the night of uh, ones, whatever, you know, he could be a person is divine masculine. He wants to relay a message like, can we please come together? I know I'm. Um, in the night uh, on the night elevation right now but you know if if you keep helping me and feed me all this energy and love and help or whatever you know I want to I want to move on up to the Empress for you uh, he wants to communicate this you know he's quick he'll come in swiftly you know making head over heart decisions uh, uh, the night of ones you know um, Swift that moving in, he wants to communicate this. He wants to come towards her, or whatever. And then the uh, ten of wands, or whatever. You know, uh, this is becoming a burden for him. He really wants to get this off his chest. He's tired of holding it on the inside. He's tired of uh, you know denying this connection. He's tired of not letting people know. Stand up and be a man and letting them know. No, I love her. And, uh, you know, this has been a burden for me. I, I, I need to come up out of this. I don't want to feel like this anymore. A judgment call is due to all this situation. He's tired of feeling like that, uh, you know, and being in a hangman position. He wants the world to know that I love her and y'all need to back off. You know, this is becoming a burden for me. And I just want people to leave me alone and let me move forward because I'm tired of holding this. I love her. The Divine Films and overall energy, uh, will of fortune, a change is going to come, guys. So that's all I have. If you don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel, I love everyone. And you guys, uh, if you guys don't mind, I accept any donations. My uh, cash app is dollar sign Charlie's Angel 75. Guys, uh, I really need, you know, you guys help and effort so that I can move forward and, you know, bring more things that I need to put out regarding this spiritual connection twin flame journey. In the mighty name of Jesus, you guys be blessed.